Hi everybody, this is Chris, and I want to introduce you to Facebook ads. First, here is a picture of my wife and I on Facebook. You're more than welcome to add us, and I just want to introduce you to Facebook ads. For those of you that are new, this may just uh, explain things a little bit clearly, but I, you know, you, you're probably well aware of what ads are. Like over on the right, we have some ads. Um, in fact, as you scroll for your scroll through your very own news feed, you're going to see ads. Like right here, we already see an ad, okay, coming up on the screen. So that's an ad. We got ads to the right, and if you keep scrolling down through this uh, news feed, you're going to see, um, you know, you're going to see more ads along with your friends' posts and things like that. So that's exactly what a Facebook ad is. They're very targeted because you're able to target people who like certain things. For example, you can target people that like cats. You can target people that like dogs that take an interest in that, and you can really go after passionate fans. Okay, so what you can do is you can start going after groups like "I love dogs," "I love cats." You get these really, really passionate people. Whatever it is that you decide to promote on your Shopify store, you're going to be able to go out and target those people. And look, here's uh, here's one of my ads right here. As you can see, so there is just a lot of um, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can advertise. Facebook is effective simply because of how targeted it is. And when you know how to target, the traffic is actually really cheap. There are some ads where I spend five dollars and I can bring in, you know, three, four, even five sales for five dollars. So it, it is very profitable when you know how to do it right. And so let me show you what fa how to access Facebook ads. You're gonna do it from your profile. If it's your first time, you're gonna have to go to create ads. You're going to click on create ads now. Since I already have account set up here, I'm just going to go over to um, manage ads and kind of give you a, a rundown of what it looks like to create an ad. All right, so I'm just loading up this ads, ads manager here. And let me just close out of this and I'm going to click create ad. And I'll tell you a little bit about the types of advertising and what they do. So you're at least introduced to that. You have lots of metrics or lots of, I guess, objectives, I should say, that you can go off of with Facebook. There is boost your post, which is page post engagement. You'll also hear a lot of, you'll hear that um, a lot of people refer to it as PPE, including myself. So that's just abbreviated for page post engagement. And this is just to get your post out there to as many people who are going to either like, share, click on the photo or click on your link. So there's a lot of things that can happen in a post page engagement. A lot of sharing goes on with PPE, which makes them very, very effective, especially if you're trying to reach a large audience. PPE is the way to go. If you have over a million people you need to reach that are dog fans, Boost Your Post is going to get you there the quickest. You can promote your page, which honestly, promote your page is not very effective. Um, simply because you're going to end up paying about a dollar a like. On, on a really good fan page, you'll, it'll probably be less, but on average, I see it being around a dollar a like, which is very expensive. When you boost your post, you're actually going to get people liking your page anyways because they like your post and they're going to like your page. So you get more bang for your buck. Send people to your website. That objective is to get people to click your link. So if you want more visitors to your direct site, this is the objective you want to use. All right, that's what you're going to want to use. Increase conversions on your website. That would be when you're selling something. So like in this uh, Shopify course here, you know, you're going to be selling something to your customers and you want to be able to track how much it costs you to gain a customer. Does it cost you $2 to make a $5 sell? Does it cost you $2 to make a $20 sell? And everything else below that we really don't use, but it's, it's pretty explanatory. There is app, which is for people who develop mobile apps. Um, engagement in your app, kind of like PPE, but for apps. Reach people near your business. So if you have a bakery or a small business in the area, you can have an ad run to people within 10 miles of your area, five miles. So you can get really close by people. So if you have a little bakery, you're trying to get more people to come to your business. You can start targeting people in the area that are within five miles. They're going to see your ad and realize you're close and they're going to come down to your bakery raise attendance at your event. You know, if you're holding a local conference or something like that in your city, you can also get people to register for that. And then there's the claim your offer, which also works very good for, uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing like coupons or something like that. And then there's video views, which if you put a video on Facebook, you can get a lot of people to engage and view your video. So that's kind of an overview of the types of advertising on Facebook. And one thing you need to know before you advertise on Facebook, before you see, you know, before you even um, consider 
making an ad like this or anything that you see here, you need to create a Facebook fan page. So I'm going to walk you through doing that. It's very simple. You're going to come over to the right and you're just going to simply create page. You have to have a fan page to advertise. Think of the fan page as your website inside Facebook. It's your hub. It's your place where you're going to put all your ads. You can create as many fan pages as you want. You can have a fan page for cats, dogs, birds, whatever it is that you're promoting, and you can have a fan page for all those different things. Or you can have one fan page and you can have all your products off of that page. So you could have a generic fan page like um, Cool Awesome Things, right? That could be the name of your fan page, Cool Awesome Things, and you could have cat products, bird products, all from that same fan page. So typically, for what we're doing with e-commerce, you're going to want to do a brand or product, and you're going to choose a category that fits what you're selling. If you're not sure, just choose website because that's generic, and then you're going to name it. So we'll just name this um, cool, awesome things for this, for this uh, tutorial. Get started, and don't worry too much about the category. If you choose the wrong category, it's not going to affect your results whatsoever. And you can tell people what your page is about. So you would want to tell people, you know, what you're selling, what types of things that you offer. Like, for example, uh, my site sells jewelry, mugs, t-shirts, and you'd put that in there. And of course, you'd put your website. For now, I'm just going to skip that. And I'll, I would fill it out, though, if I were you. And then here's where you'd probably put your logo. You're going to want to get a, a square logo. You're going to put it right there. And then you'll go to the next step. I want you to add to your favorites. You can go ahead and do that. I'll skip that as well. And then your preferred page audience, you can leave that pretty generic and click on save. And then here is your fan page right here. So now you're going to be able to, let's pretend we have our logo here on our background. It's going to try to give you a tour. But if you already know how to use Facebook, it's easy. Now creating an ad from your fan page Here's what I want you to know. When you post from your fan page, nobody is going to know it's you. It doesn't link back to your personal profile. So if you're running an ad on Facebook, you're not running it from your personal page. You don't have to worry about privacy or anything like that. I had a few people ask me if I could create ads on Facebook, will people be able to find you? They will not be able to find you because when you're posting from this page, you're posting as cool, awesome things. You're posting as your business, and there's no way for it to link back to you unless you tell Facebook, hey, I want to post as my name, but by default, Facebook is going to have it select the fan page. So you can have it post by you, but it's, it's going to post by the page, which gives you all that privacy and everything like that. And here's where you'd create your ad. Here's where you put, you know, a little description of your ad, um, you know, come down to my bakery. Oh, can't even type today um, for 50 percent off. Uh, today only, right? And then you would put a picture of something that goes with your copy, right? So whatever you're selling, if it's a necklace, if it's a mug, in this example, if it was the bakery, come down to my bakery for 50% off today only, I might put a picture of some of my pastries there. And guess what? I would want to also put in my address, of course, or a phone number, right? Contact details within my ad. That way, when people see the ad, they say, oh, I can call here, or here's the address, I can drive down. If they're on their mobile phone and, and they're driving in the car and uh, they see your ad, then they may just come into your business or they may give you a call to place an order. So that's really how simple it is, is you're just going to go ahead and make a little title here and make sure you have a picture in your ad. So you'll grab a photo or video and put a picture in your ad. So I'll just put an example photo here. Make sure everything you're doing is relevant. So we'll just uh, do this swimming pool that I have right here. And I'll click on Publish. It might take a minute to load. That's OK. And this is basically my ad so far. That's it. There it is. Come down to my bakery for 50% off. And here's the picture. And this is what it's going to look like to the user. So that's really it as far as you know, needing to advertise on Facebook. You're going to want to have the fan page. And you're going to want to be able to um, post to the fan page. You know, don't worry so much about privacy. Like I said, when you create that fan page, it's like creating a whole new identity for your business. And this does not link back to you unless you were to fill out your information here. You know, Unless you're going to say, hey, 
Joe is the owner of the stand page, right? And you're the only one who decides if you want to expose yourself or if you want to just leave everything behind this fan page, which can be deleted anytime. You can change the name of the fan page and the settings. There's a lot you can do. So that's the basics, and I hope that makes sense. I'll see you in the next video, and we'll talk a little bit about how to scale your campaigns. I have a really nice flowchart we'll be going over. So I'll see you there, and thanks for watching.